First, let's take a look at a new section in the rule book under Rule 10. The following acts constitute a foul when committed against a ball handler or dribble. Placing two hands on the player. Placing an extended arm bar on the player. Placing and maintaining contact with a hand on the player. Or contacting the player with hands more than once. Let's see some of these plays on the floor. Notice the defender in white extend his forearm onto the dribbler and stay in contact with him as the dribbler moves around the perimeter. This can allow the defender to control the direction of a dribbler. This is a hand-checking foul. Watch number 10 in white approach the ball handler and extend his hand out and contact him while reaching in with the other hand. Remember, Placing and maintaining contact with a hand on the player is a foul. He even continues to hand check as the dribbler moves toward the basket. This is an unfair advantage to the defender and can cause the dribbler to change course. A little over one minute later in the same quarter, the same player continues to play defense with his hands by placing a hand on the ball handler and leaving it there. Both of these plays were considered closely guarded, and the covering official had a five-second count on each play. But neither time did the official decide to call hand-checking. On this play, starting in the backcourt, number three in white reaches out and places his arm on the hip of the dribbler as he tries to keep up. That contact causes the dribbler to lose his balance and he falls to the floor. Don't allow defenders to place their hands or arms on the dribbler and maintain contact.